great to, uh, to see you here. Thanks for uh, joining us. Hope you can uh, hope you can see me. Hope you can uh, hear me. Uh, thanks for joining us today. If you're uh, um, joining us here on the Zoom, okay, you know, by all means, you know, let us know that uh, here and where you're from. If you're watching this later on uh, demand, then by all means, uh, um, you know, give us a, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Be sure to subscribe to the uh, Admiral's YouTube channel. Um, for here today, we are talk about how to use inside bars during in uh, intraday trading so um we have covered quite a lot of uh, price action in the past me and my colleagues uh, marcus and jens but uh, today we're going to talk about inside bars a, a very simple technical setup uh, and how you could uh, look at utilizing it in your intraday trading which is uh, is useful because inside bars are normally used as sort of kind of bigger uh, sort of trading uh, time frames for our daily weekly even monthly etc but today we're going to focus on uh, inside bars with insider trading um uh, as always okay if you have uh, any particular questions be sure to uh, to shoot them uh, yeah, across uh, or if you have uh, even thoughts or considerations for future topics that you'd like us to see a bit like this which was a uh, a request from uh, uh, one of our uh, previous uh, previous joinees yeah, we're very uh, we're very happy and very welcome to take that on board so as i said great to ha have you here um i uh, appreciate we always have a, a wide range of experience in the room from complete beginners to very experienced traders so uh, hopefully we'll be able to sort of uh, uh, touch on a few elements that give everybody uh, a little bit of insight regardless of uh, their uh, their sort of their trading experience so uh, without further ado let's uh, let's switch across to the uh, to the charts shall we and uh, all the slides to begin with we'll be looking at the charts later um, so if you just uh, bear with us a moment, what we'll do is we will uh, we'll, we'll switch across and hopefully that'll uh, that'll all come across there. And that's the uh, it's NFP today, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? So we shall uh, we shall come back to that later, I hope, uh, and stuff that uh, um, they'll be uh, give us maybe a little bit of something to, to have a little bit of look at. Um, thanks very much, Vitor. Um, thanks very much. It's great uh, for your joining us. That's much appreciated. And uh, as I said, today we're going to talk about how to use inside bars for intraday trading. Uh, and yet, yeah, let's take a little look at this uh, simple setup. As I said, it would be interesting to know, uh, based upon who we have here in the room, uh, what your knowledge and experience of trading inside bars, or also even you know inside bars on an intraday. Basis. So, you know, if you have, uh, uh, if you know what they are, great. But let us know if you don't know. If you, if you completely need to trading, this is, uh, this is, you know, your first exposure. That's absolutely fantastic. Please, you know, just let me know in the, the chat box. That helps me. I want to be able to sort of, you know, give you as much help and uh, support as I can within our uh, within our time window uh, here. So uh, Rudolph says it's uh, a completely new and uh, Anil says um, uh, normally wines a whiskey. Um, well, it's a little early for whiskey on a Friday afternoon, Anil, but um, it's not for me to judge. Uh, whatever helps get you through the uh, the last of the working day, you uh, you know, uh, feel free. I just uh, hope it's uh, the, the finest single Scottish malt uh, whiskey. But there you go. That's a different story for a different day. So um, as I said, we're going to talk about this little simple uh, uh, thing. Oh, I know I get the joke. Anil says inside bar. Oh, mine's a whiskey all oh, right okay yeah you're inside the bar fair enough well uh you know next time i ever see you Arnold, then uh you know you, you, you're more than welcome to uh you're more than welcome to get me a whiskey and um, but there you go anyway ladies and gentlemen back to uh back to trading okay and here's uh here's paul's next top tip is uh don't drink whiskey and then trade that that's not good uh, that's not a good move at all all right uh regardless of what people might say you need to be uh focused and on uh, and on the ball for when you're uh coming to the uh coming to the market but uh um uh, for those of you who are uh, new to our sessions okay uh admiral markets is no more we're now admirals as part of the 20th anniversary it's been a rebranding uh, experiment uh, and uh, it won't really have any particular uh, difference or you know implications for your uh, own exposure or experience of admirals it's just so that you uh, recognize who uh, who we are nowadays um, uh, and as I said, they're admirals, they're a Forex and CFD broker, providing a wide range of instruments, a global presence with uh, local support, uh, licensed and regulated across a wide range of regulatory environments, providing competitive spreads on the most uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, popular trading products and allowing you the opportunity to engage with markets using both the MT4, MT5 and also the Admiral's Supreme Edition. If you've got any questions, please get in touch with your account representative. Uh, and also what you can do these days is you can follow us on Instagram, okay? We are, of course, uh, on there now. You can see that at Admirals Global. So if you're not following us already, please do so. You can go on there, click on the button, and then you'll get lots of uh, great insight and also reminders of when these uh, wonderful sessions uh, are, uh, are held for your, uh, for your benefit. So what should we talk about today? Well, uh, 
let's you know let's let's start at the beginning in terms of we'll talk about right well what is the inside bar okay what is it as uh, one of our uh, attendees here today said they you know they weren't aware of it whatsoever so we'll talk about what is an inside bar and and you know importantly as traders what do we need to be aware of when trading with inside bars what are the kind of gems that of uh, information that i can share with you and we'll talk about how could we use them in a breakout okay uh, we'll also talk about how we could use them in a the trend we could also you talk about how we can use them when a breakout fails because actually intraday you know uh, inside bars there you know they're, they're actually there's quite a few different ways of using them okay and i'm gonna i will you know i'll share you the, uh, the the kind of standard ways but i will also give you a little bit of hints and insights based upon my own experience of uh, trading intraday uh, and we'll talk about you know how do we use them in intraday trading not uh, not unsurprisingly for those who don't know me, my name is Paul. I've traded for, for many years, um, uh, primarily for uh, trend trading. Okay, I'm a trend trader for sort of longer term trading when I'm sort of swing and position trading. And I'm more of a reversal and mean reversion trader when I'm doing intraday trading. So I'm very, I'll be showing some of those kind of insights there from my, uh, from my own experience. Uh, and hopefully that'll be able to just give you a little bit of help uh, and support in your own trading journey. So... How to use inside bars for intraday trading. Okay, so as the slide says there, ladies and gentlemen, um, we've covered many types of price action setups during these webinars. And uh, what I can suggest is that if you go on to the uh, Admiral's YouTube channel, you'll find a wide array of, uh, of uh, previous uh, webinars and support, you know, from my, myself and my colleagues, uh, Marcus and Jens, covering all sorts of different price action setups. Um, so uh, uh, you are, uh, encouraged to to go there and fill your boots and enjoy enjoy picking up all of that uh, particular information but what i can say and I can, I can say this from personal experience from my own trading and also from working and coaching hundreds and maybe thousands of traders over the years is that you'll find that it's the simplest setups are the easiest ones to spot and execute um, human beings and i have to say uh, men in particular uh, we are very very good at over complicating things okay we quite often look at something especially well, you know, just in every aspect of our lives but especially in trading and think ah, it can't be that easy it can't be that simple i need to over complicate it but actually it's actually the usually the, the simplest setups okay that are the ones that are the, the the sort of stand the test of time why is that is because well if you're trading shorter you know time frames intraday basis things are happening fast okay things happen fast markets change fast okay markets can completely flip on 180 on you and you know in a in a you know in a click of a flinger okay and so it, you know it, it's very easy to get overwhelmed it's very easy to get you know confused disorientated and so within that happens tend, people tend to make less than optimal trading decisions and actually what you're looking for is something that's simple that's easy to spot easy to sort of understand easy to uh, easy to trade because as it says that it helps make traders and act correctly especially in what can be very dynamic intraday conditions so today we'll take a look at inside bar cell and in particular how to use it in an intraday trading environment so i'm going to give you a few i'm going to give you a few ideas i'm going to give you a few things just to look at how you can utilize it and hopefully especially if you're a new trader it will actually give you just a little bit of an insight into uh, into how uh, you know into how something you could look at you know change the way you look at markets when you when you sit down to trade so Firstly, well, you know, what is an inside bar? Well, I mean, it's pretty simple, really. You know, very simple. And, you know, as the name implies, it kind of gives it away. Uh, an inside bar is formed when the high and the low of the bar is fully within the range of the preceding bar, okay? Sometimes you'll hear, you know, preceding bars, you know, they, they might, you'll hear them sometimes, you know, called as, you know, inside bars, mother bars or kangaroo bars, etc. Uh, and, you know, it, it's, it's really, as I said, it is actually very simple, all right? And remember what's just said that it's the simplest ones that are the easiest to spot and easiest to execute that help people. And, and so an inside bar like that, you know, it literally is just all within the, the kind of range of the uh, of the preceding bar. What I like to talk about and you know, how I kind of like to get you to think about inside bars is that you think about it as, you know, as, a, as, a, as like a human organism, okay? And, and the market, is made up of humans operating. I know we might talk about AI and algos and all that and stuff, but reality is still market is a reflection of human psychology. And, and you know, like human psychology, you know, they're reflecting that kind of human ecosystem. And, and you know, humans, we surge and then we rest and then we surge. That's just the way we operate and we always have. And in trading times, the inside bar is the rest. A market surges, it moves, it then rests, 
and then he gets ready to move again. And that's how I want you to think about it. And I think that's what I want you to, to consider. And as traders, we are using inside bars to help identify us and give us an opportunity to possibly catch the next surge, because that's what we're trying to do. OK, that's what we're trying to do. And it's a, as I said, it's, it's actually a very, very simple, OK, very simple sell. Not always simple to trade because it's all about context. And hopefully I'll give you a little bit of idea about context today. But <clears throat> generally, simple to identify, simple to spot, and also it's simple to understand what is actually happening. Okay, The market surged, it's now resting, and we're getting ready for the next surge, which is the part that we want to capture. And so, you know, here's what we have. Some very good examples of, of inside bars. And you can see here, you know, that it is literally, it's very, very clear, okay? Very, very clear. The range of the bar is so small that it fits within the range of the preceding bar, okay? Unlike this one. Because here we can see that actually the high of that period traded above the high of the preceding bar, okay? So that is not an inside bar. Some people might say, oh, well, Paul, but the body is inside the range, it can inside bar, but no, not, not, by my, not by my definition, okay? The high and the low, okay? The highest point, the lowest point, if that was traded during that session must be within the range of the preceding bar. That is what defines it as an inside bar, okay? So even if it goes one pip above, okay, that is no longer an inside bar, okay? That's no longer an inside bar. It has to be within okay that's the thing we're looking for that's what we're particularly looking for so sometimes you know if you're trading these kind of longer time frames which is you know they're very useful i mean we're going to talk about intraday but actually you know they 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 are seen across all time frames and seen across all instruments is that sometimes you know certainly on fx you might actually have a, a particular sort of you know the the, um, the market open and closes at the, the same level right but reality, when we're looking at intraday bars, what we're looking at is the range of it has to be completely within the preceding bar. That's the that's the simple element of it. So, um, you know, there's a there's a few examples here. Just this is just a, a chart, you know, that's coming through, and, and you can see that actually, you know, there are inside bars again. Okay? And what's interesting for us to look at is, you know, how how does how does the market react after after a kind of inside bar? Okay. How does it how does it react? How does it you know how does it actually move? Because that's what we're we're looking at. Remember what we were just talking about there, okay? It's about the market surges, it rests, it gets ready to surge again. That's that's what we're looking at. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to catch the next surge. That's what we're focused on, okay? That's what we're at. And what we're looking to do is to sort of you know uh, use inside bars within the context of you know kind of a confluence of events. That actually give us a, a you know a, a hint or a bias as to where as to where the market may possibly go next, and that is what we're looking to, so we can we can position ourselves uh, accordingly. Uh, and we'll, as I said, we're going to look at a few examples of that today. We'll look at a few different examples, but you know I'll, I will share some insights about how we can you know how we can change that, what we can do, what you can be aware of, what you should be sort of just you know just just looking out for, just to to make sure that you can sort of navigate yourself where you know navigate yourself uh, through these uh, through these uh, through these murky waters. Okay, remember because it's an intraday market, so things can happen fast, and, and you know things can change in you very very fast. So the, the better and quicker you're able to identify little setups like this the better you'll be able to execute them and, that, and that's what it comes down to long term so um the thing about inside bars is that you know they can be traded as either continuations of the existing trend or reversals okay you know and and you will find that you know people there are people who will do both and that's the same for if you're going to trade inside bars whether you're going to trade them on a monthly chart or you're going to trade them on a five minute chart okay they can actually be traded in either continuations or reversals but it's a bit like i said in the last couple of slides it's, it's all about the context it's all about the confluence okay personally for me okay personally for me you know and the, you know these are kind of my particular view on it if you wish to, to trade them as a as a pure reversal then you're looking at to be you know at the at the end of a trend there has to have been a a good move and at a some particular level of support or resistance again okay? support resistance and maybe as part of a confluence of events and that's something we'll we'll touch on a little bit later okay so uh, in this particular case you know it, price here is has bullied its way up it's actually at the 200 period moving average uh, when it actually forms a sort of uh, it forms you know kind of a series of kind of smaller like inside bars before it before it turns and uh, turns away and moves okay 
and that's what we're actually particularly looking for right it needs to be all about it needs to be about confluence of uh, confluence of events okay um so here's a, an example for you know, just from uh i think not this week but the week before last okay and uh what here is here is let's just pull this up uh, this is the uh, pound against the us dollar 15 minute chart okay so um for those of you who've never joined me completely new um, my charts are quite simple um, I'll have a blue 20 period, a red 50 period, and a green 200 period moving average, right? Uh, I will also have fractals on there, which are very small, which you might be able to see on one of the charts, just because I have them very small and my eyes are trained enough to see them now. Uh, and also what I have here, this this is a, this is called, a, um, this is just a, a box, which just basically uh, identifies the, uh, the kind of the overnight Asian range. Uh, and also um, you might see blue levels here, uh, identifying what was either the, the previous day's high, uh, the previous day or the previous week's high or low, okay? So, um, so uh, in this particular case, as I said, on the 15 minute chart, um, uh, we've gone into the sort of open of the Asian, uh, sort of the European, we've come out of the Asian session, which is this, gone into the European session. Uh, we've been, you know, from this, from the, effectively from the sort of uh, kind of middle of the overnight, right, during the Asian session, price started to, to move upwards pulled back a little bit, bounced nicely, a three bar reversal. And then what actually happened here is, is, you know, as I said, price got up to the 200 period moving average, having broken out again. This is one of the other elements, okay? And in, certainly for intraday trading, it broken out of the, uh, broken out of the Asian range, okay? It hits the 200 period moving average. And then what you can see there for yourself is that, you know, it printed a small inside bar that the range of that bar was within the range of the preceding bar. OK, so, you know, as I said, when I talked about it's like you want a particular level of support resistance and a 200 period moving average or a major moving average. That is a period of dynamic support resistance. OK, at a confluence of events. Well, we've had a bit of a, uh, a trend. We've also blown out of the uh, Asian uh, Asian range uh, and then we've got an inside bar. And well, you can see for yourself what actually happened. That was that gave us an effectively you know the, there was a reversal happening there and, and basically price absolutely price absolutely collapsed um, price absolutely collapsed there uh, you know and uh, interestingly interestingly enough you know it, very often what i kind of like to see is when you've got a sort of an inside bar there as a reversal price came down and 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 here's uh, you know what happened is once price had made this huge big move down which is i think it was off on news was basically it made another inside bar there and so and this is a, a trend your little idea that you can take away even if you don't even if you don't particularly use inside bars as a as an entry trigger okay this is something you can take away and think for consider for you know if you're already in a trend if you're already in a particular trend okay and you know the trend has let's say in this particular case it's dropped very nicely for you well then actually once it starts to print inside bars against you okay it, it might be an idea that that, that that trend is starting to come to an end Okay, and that might be something for that might be something for the kind of uh, more intermediate traders to take away to look at. Just have a look at you know when they're you're in a tr nice trade and it's going nicely for you, and it starts to print inside bars against you. That can be a little nugget to take away to say, well, actually, do you want know we're starting to probably to get towards the end of this particular move. Okay, this might be time for me to either step aside, start taking some profits to basically tighten up my uh, what you would hope would now be your stop profit. Okay, but it's interesting there. You know the, the kind of move started there on a, an inside bar and the move kind of it signaled that it was kind of over all right on an inside bar uh, as well and, and yes price did uh, price did sort of you know sort of kind of worked its way down a bit here but then you had a then you had a bullish engulfing key reversal which became a, a double bottom before it before it rallied up there again okay so you know as i said the confluence events is important all right that's that is important okay in that particular case you know a strong move out okay end of a trend at a 200 period moving average, uh, having it just blown out of the, uh, uh, blown out closed outside the Asian range. Okay, so you've got a few things coming together, okay, at one particular time and place, and then you get an inside bar, well, that could be just giving you an indication that effectively we're, we're you know, the, 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 the next move is about to, uh, the next move is about to happen. <laughs> Um, and, you know, and this is just some kind of more examples um, of it. Okay, and you're on the kind of pound against the uh, pound against the dollar in the 15 minute chart. So uh, hopefully, it's giving you a bit of an idea what I like to specifically focus on trading when I'm doing intraday trading. Uh, this is kind of interesting. You know, is that you know we had a there was an Asian range here. Okay, price is going sideways. Okay, price is going sideways. It it pops its head outside of it and then actually comes back down. And then it actually taps here. It taps the actually the other side of that range. 
and then you know it puts in what we have here is a little small inside bar okay now th this would be a particularly difficult trading thing because i think it's a little bit murkier in amongst the, the the moving averages i think this is this is something that you would see in hindsight more so than at the time but it's kind of good to understand and know that you know price had come down tapped and then basically it had that you know it had a rest before it surged and, and what we had here is price actually came up and then it put in the you know first um uh, small inside bar it was a very very small little bar and then actually it went it tried to go again and then invariably what happened was it, it basically was the second inside bar is the stalling pattern and i suppose that's a good word to describe it okay a good way to describe it is that you know if a price has moved in one direction and then you get an inside bar at the other end it's a case of you know price is stalling okay price is stalling and it, this might be the opportunity for a reversal uh, which which it certainly was okay and you can see the basically price thing you know, that was the exact high of the of the of the day of the morning session before price peaked and effectively ran all the way uh, all the way down okay and that's that's the said using it as a as a reversal that's you know that's the you know one of the ways that you'd be you'd be interested in doing so okay and well you know maybe maybe you were already long maybe you thought you know this was a, a, a long play but once you started to get the kind of inside bars okay it's telling you that you know the the kind of the this this up move is you know it's, it's running out of energy okay it's running out of energy it's done it's getting towards the end it's time for you to either step aside to take profits or to tighten up your to tighten up your stop profit okay so just um, just take that uh, just take that on board. Uh, and this is this is kind of an interesting one because it uh, it uh, becomes like a double a double excuse me this becomes a double um, a double opportunity okay so uh, um, same as usual this is actually Brent oil okay Brent oil on fifteen minute chart okay in its uh, sort of Asian range. You can see that there was a low there, okay, it, uh, in the early part of the, or the kind of late part of the Asian range, coming into like European uh, dawn and open. Price has moved up there quite nicely. Uh, and then what we actually see is uh, is effectively is a, uh, it is uh, what we do get there is we get an inside bar there, okay. So remember just thinking that as the, you know, there's a case of there's a, an opportunity that this price might be, might be actually stalling, okay. That, that kind of uptrend, which we'd had for the last couple of hours was coming to an end. What we then had here is effectively what's quite often known as a, a fake out. Okay, is that actually price tried to push up? It tried to push up on the next can, try to push through the next, uh, the last, you know, the recent high. But then it rolled over, fell down, and formed the rejection candle at high test bar, or pin bar, okay, shooting star, depending upon how you particularly like to, to to label it. And that was, as I said, that was that kind of confluence of events. It's it's broken out of a uh, the Asian session. At the end of a trend, and then invariably, what you've got is you know an inside bar followed by a uh, followed by a rejection candle. Okay, after a little fake out. So there's three, four, five things all coming together at one time and place that give you an opportunity to recognise. Okay, you know that that up move is over, and now we're probably going to roll over and burst back into the uh, into the range. Okay, uh, and what you'll see is that you know if you look on the uh, as I said, if you look on the YouTube Admirals chart, what you'll see is effectively um, there is uh, I did a, a webinar there a while back there. On, I think price action combos, okay, whereby what you'd see is a price action combination. So it could be an inside bar with an engulfing candle or a pin bar or a key reversal or a morning star, evening star, etc. That is what you'll actually happen. Remember what I'm saying, you know, it's context and having a confluence event can be nice and simple, nice and easy. And that's the way, that's the way to start to uh, uh, to look at it. Okay. So this was, as I said, you know, kind of price is broken out of the Asian range. Okay. It then stalls on the inside bar, then has a fake out, then has a pin bar, then it, as you can see for yourself, it rolls over versus and falls away very um, very very nicely for the for pretty much the, the rest of the uh, rest of the the uh, the morning session so um you know that we've just shown there's a couple of examples of reversals and as i said it can be traded as continuous reversals uh, my personal favorite is to trade them as part of pullbacks in an existing trend okay um, uh, which is both pros and cons, all right? So for intraday setups, we're looking at using the 60 minute candle and below. So on your MetaTrader platforms, you know, that's kind of 60, 30, 50, five, okay, and one, all right? Although I wouldn't particularly uh, suggest that. I'd be saying to begin with 60 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, okay, to begin with, just to give yourself a little bit of uh, an opportunity until you're actually very clear. Um, uh, the, 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 the good thing is, is that, you know, th these would be my preferred way okay to, to actually to trade uh, inside bars in on an intraday basis the the, the down
downside because there's nothing there's no perfection in trading is that um those of you will know is that markets don't trend on intraday basis as often and as much as we would like okay for the vast majority of time on an intraday basis markets are actually mostly range bound okay so you might actually only get you might actually only get one day a week, okay, where you get a good particular trend, especially in an FX pair, right? You only get one day a week, 20%, okay, of, of your week, right? So uh, the, the the downside is that, you know, you, it's not something that will show up every single day, okay? It's something that you can practice and trade. And you can look across, you know, lots of uh, lots of uh, FX pairs and indices pairs, okay? But you just have to recognize that invariably, you know, it doesn't happen as often as we would as we would like, okay? But um, hey, welcome to trading. That's, that's, the, that's the way we look at it. But uh, as it says there, you know, um, you know, it, it, 60 minutes and below. And what you can also do is decide your entry on either the break of the bar or break of the range based on the size of the one bar. What does that actually mean? But what does that uh, what does that mean? Well, let's just use this one as an example here. Um, this price has been in a downtrend. Price pulls back. OK, you know, and actually then basically we print an inside bar there. OK, we print an inside bar. So what we'd be looking for, remember we've had we've had surge, rest, and now we're looking for the surge again. Okay. And we're looking particularly, as I said, a pullback in a trend. That's you know the end of a pullback in a trend. That makes us happy. Okay. So, but when am I going to enter? What what's my entry? How do I do it? Well, you know, part of this is about whether you enter on the break of the bar or break of the range based on the size of the model bar. In this particular example, just clear this one. because the because the low of the uh, of the inside bar and the low of the actual let's call it the mother candle is very very close and um, I, I would be looking to sort of break to trade on the break okay on the break of the the low of the uh, of the the mother bar okay that's what i'd be looking to do now if that bar was much bigger okay if the, and the inside bar was very small well then i might look to trade the, the break of the inside bar in the direction of my new trend okay a lot of that would depend upon the actual size of the uh, particular candles uh, so anil says it might be three pips uh, yeah as a general rule that would be uh, that would be comfortable okay you know comfortable sort of you know two to three pips beneath the low of the mother bar well invariably on you know uh, on a short and then for a long it'd be i would normally go sort of two pips plus the spread okay two pips Plus the spread for a uh, for for a long trade. Okay, that's what uh, that's what we'll be looking at. Um, that's what we'll be looking at there. And as I said, beware of false breakouts. That's what we've looked at. Uh, there we saw that on the that just on that pound reversal is that actually even though the price had been up, then put a, a kind of bearish inside bar, tried to push up once again, faked out, and it rolled over. And actually, those are those are nice trades. Okay, when we're looking. Remember, we're looking. We know what kind of direction we're looking to trend because it's a, a pullback in a trend. That's what we're looking for. Okay, that's what we're waiting for. So we know the kind of direction we're looking to go. It's just to make sure you know that uh, that we're actually in a position to to, to catch that run. And, you know, not unsurprisingly, it works best in trending markets. You know, that, that shouldn't really be a particular shock to anything. OK, uh, lots of things work well in trending markets. OK, I'm not, um, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, here to sort of, you know, uh, naively tell you that, you know, it works in everything. OK, but, you know, they work best in trending markets. Most things work well in trending markets. The, the challenge we have as traders is that trending markets don't turn up as often as we would like. Okay, that's the that's the challenge. And so, I normally say to myself, if you trade one instrument, okay, if you trade one instrument, let's say you trade in pound against dollar, or you trade gold or something, you know, on an intraday basis, you know, I normally say, well, you know, if you set an expectation of maybe there might be one day a week where there's a where there's a good trending market, well, then invariably that that helps, you know, that help just helps you not uh, be sort of you know over uh, so sort of, let's say trigger happy trying to trade in what might be a trend every single day when in fact you might actually get one day perhaps two days okay it might be more if the market if that market is in a particularly strong trend but as a general rule okay that's 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 what we're looking for and that's that's that as i said that's the challenge with this setup okay there is no perfection with trading okay nothing is nothing is absolutely stunningly wonderful all the time it's about as i said right at the start it's about finding something simple that you can recognize that you can see and that you'll be able to execute okay execute consistently day after day after day that's that's what's the that's what's the important thing uh, and as i said yeah if it forms a uh, you know if a pullback comes into like also another support resistance level that can also help act as a stalling and stopping signal and that that just builds confidence okay that just builds confidence for us now you know confidence is a lovely word confidence is a lovely situation as a uh, as a trader so um, here's uh, an example here. Okay, this is the the DAX. Okay, the DAX 30. Okay, German index 15 minute uh, chart here, uh, and you know here's you know there's the thing is that you know 
uh, we're looking to, to use it as a pullback in a uh, trend. Well, you know, we need to be very clear that we're in a trend first. So in this particular case, you know, we can see that actually in the market has been making lower lows, okay, and lower highs, okay, lower lows, lower highs. Also, what we have is, and this is one of the reasons, especially for new traders, it might help, is that you know we have the sort of the uh, the twenty and the fifty period moving average. You can see that you know they are in alignment. The actual the two hundred period moving average is all the way up here. We can see that they are in alignment. They are sloping down. Okay, and so for new traders, you know, but who are trying to just get to grasp, you know, just being able to recognise price action is just a simple way to be able to sort of help confirm that 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 market is moving down. And, and we can see price moves down, then price pulls back, doesn't it? Price pulls back. It turns the 20 period moving average and then what do we happen you know at the end of that pullback market is surged it's having a rest and at the end of that rest is an inside bar okay it's an inside bar that also happens to be a rejection candle okay we've just talked about price action combos this is and you know an inside bar that also happens to be a rejection candle pin bar okay and, you know, at the end of a pullback in a very clear existing downtrend bouncing off the 20 period moving average you know that is confluence all right and that's confluence that's what you're looking for ladies. you're looking for that confluence three four things coming together same time and place that is that's you know as a as a as a kind of a manual okay manual uh you know semi semi kind of a discretionary trader there it, you know it doesn't get any better than that okay the, the challenge you'll have as a trader is you've had to probably sit for two hours to wait for that that is the that's the challenge okay that's the that's the other challenge and maybe we'll do a session on on how you can manage your focus and patience as you're doing that but it's more about being able to sort of be calm be relaxed and then invariably when that setup happens you straight on it, you execute, okay? You're executing. That's 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 the uh, that's what we're particularly looking at. And that's you know, as I said, that is a that's a lot of you know the market was quite clearly in a in a trend, okay? Very clearly, it was make, doing all the right things, okay? Everything was saying, and then it pulled back, okay? Pulled back in a trend. Market surged. Market's resting at the end of the rest with an inside bar that was also a pin bar bouncing off the twenty period moving average at the end of a little pullback trade is on okay trade is on all right yeah, as soon as that price breaks the short of uh, the the kind of low of that particular candle by a couple of pips that's your trade your stop losses above the uh, the recent high which in this particular case would be the, the candle uh, you know the candle the second candle there okay bosh and the trade is the trade is on okay that that is the trade on right and that's that's you know that is bread and butter take that every day beautiful trade okay you know you can you can uh, you can enjoy that to your you can enjoy that to your heart's particular content Um, so uh, you know, here's uh, here's an, another example. Okay, once again, here we go. This is the the pound, fifteen minute dollar, um, uh, fifteen minute dollar, and the pounding is a dollar. Uh, pretty standard, you know. The, there is the kind of the uh, Asian session here, and and this is going to be interesting. One is we did a couple of slides back. We looked at what happened when price broke out. Okay, and then the inside bar was gave us an indication that price was stalling before it was about to to uh, um, to fall away. In this case, this is a little bit different because what we have here is, you know, this is the high of the uh, this is the high of the the Asian range there. Okay, you can see it. We've just just drawn it on there. Price has broken out of it. Price has you know price has actually been you know in a nice uh, trend there. Okay, it pulls up and then actually what happens is price falls back to what is the what is the kind of the level of that. Of the, the breakout from the Asian uh, range, and then what does it do? It puts in a very small bullish inside bar. Okay, prices moved up, prices pulled back a little bit. Price is now what it was, what was once kind of resistance to the top of that Asian range, now becomes support. And then basically, here's your opportunity to a to get long. We're just you know a pip or, pip or two with the spread above. Okay, with your stop beneath the the low of the, the kind of the, the recent low with the opportunity. And in this particular case, to to actually for it to sort of just to trend quite nicely. And what you can see here is it was actually after a nice trend. It was an inside bar here. Okay, it was an inside bar there. The price actually sort of ran up another couple of last uh, uh, candles before effectively it sort of it was done. It was done for the day. The move the move has actually happened and occurred. And that's what you know. That's what you're particularly looking for. So, Victor, is the 15 minute bar your favourite for intraday? Um, I am actually, I am actually happy to trade down on the five minute and the one minute chart. Okay, Victor, but but I'm an experienced trader. Okay, who's been doing this for a long time, and I know what I'm particularly looking for. Uh, as I said, for yourself, intraday trading, I'd be saying 60 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay, you know that that is enough for you to begin. Okay, to start with, look for that. 
Uh, and then as you get experience, as you get an idea, as you get a feel and a sense for these setups, well then perhaps maybe you might look at the kind of five minute chart. But to begin with, 15 minute, 30 minute charts are, are absolutely ideal. Okay, they're absolutely ideal. They're absolutely fine. That's, you know, that's a, it's enough. It's a 15 minute chart, so everything's not happening absolutely super fast. But nevertheless, things are still moving and, you know, you need to understand what you're what you're particularly looking for. <clears throat> uh, and uh, here, this is, you know, once again, this is kind of uh, Brent on the uh, the 15 minute chart. Peter says, thanks. You're very welcome. OK, uh, 15 minute chart. OK, here, right in, in the early morning. So you can see that the, the Asian session is there. Um, the 20, remember what I said earlier, the 20 and the 50 are pointing down and they're, you know, they're in alignment. Price is moving down. Price comes back up here into the sort of 50 and then it drops away. You know, the price moves down quite nicely. Uh, and then price tips back, price pushes back up, hits the 20 period moving average. Uh, and actually what it does is this candle here is a small inside bar. Some people might call it a little spinning top, okay, because it was inside, but it's it's a small inside bar, okay. Remember what we've just been saying, okay. Identify that there's a identify that there's a trend, all right. Okay, then we're looking for you know surge, then the rest, and at the end of the rest, okay, is an inside bar, which once again has happened at the 20 period moving average, uh, and you can see for yourself, okay, then the, the price moves down all the way for the uh, for the rest of the rest of the particular session into the US session. Okay, so nice, simple. Okay, the as I say, the you know the challenge you have is the markets don't trend as often as you like. And when you do have this, when they do trending, well, you're going to be actually having to wait for a little bit just for your particular setup. OK, so you're going to build and demonstrate patience. But what I do tell all traders is it, it, it is easier to be patient when you know exactly what you're looking for. All right. Now, that's one of the things that you know new traders have is that you know, they're not really sure. They're not really sure they be patient for. They're a bit, you know, they want to get in. They want the excitement. They want to be on the trade. They want to put positions on. Uh, but actually good traders okay that their setups are cleaned okay their setups they know what they're looking for okay? they're looking for a clear trend they're looking for surge they're looking for the rest which is the pullback we're looking for at the end of the pullback okay at the end of the rest for it to be an inside bar if it is traders on we're joining the trend okay we are joining the existing trend that's it that's it that's all we're looking for okay nice and simple no need to we're not trying to as I said, we're not trying to be over complicate things remember what i said at the start okay lots of traders do that especially men they're trying to over complicate things this is a very simple intraday setup all right it's not perfect because you're yeah, waiting for you're waiting for trends and they don't happen as often as you like okay you also have to demonstrate patience because you have to wait for the trade to come to you okay it's not perfect but hopefully you can see that actually when they set up it's worth the wait okay and it's simple and it's easy you know to, to identify and be ready to and to be ready to trade it Um, and one of the kind of other ways you can use, okay, is, is to basically to use an inside bar for intraday trading is, is actually to, when it works, another way is in a true breakout, okay. We looked a fair bit before at, at a, almost like a false breakout, okay, prices pushed out of the range and then come back into it, okay. But it can actually also be used for true breakouts. Um, uh, my personal opinion is I prefer false breakouts to true breakouts because I think there are more false breakouts, especially in the intraday FX markets, but you will see that true breakouts do occur. What you're looking for is, you know, if you have identified a small range, okay, small range, wait for the breakout to occur, then wait for an inside bar to be printed, and then trade in the direction of the breakout, okay? That's what we're particularly, uh, that's what we're particularly interested in. So uh, here we go. This is, you know, DAX 15 minute chart. Uh, and actually you can see, hopefully there you can see price was in this range, okay, for overnight into the start of the uh, the session. Okay, and then invariably what we had was it prints uh, an engulfing candle. Price breaks through the recent low. Breaks breaks through the recent low. It's, you know, so we're expecting a move down. Okay, the the twenty is also beneath the fifty. Okay, so you know we're we're expecting a move down. Then what do we get? We get basically we get an inside bar. Okay, price tries to push up. That's the fake. And then before it drops, and breaks the low, and then continues all the way down as you can see. Remember what I said earlier is, you know, you get a strong move and then what happens here? We get an inside bar here. You've got a big tail, big tail, followed by a big inside bar. If you haven't already taken your taking your profits off the table, it, this is telling you that that kind of move is over because what actually happens is it just goes, it goes, uh, it goes sideways. OK, so you've got breakout, clear breakout, inside bar, which is the rest, next surge. And then the inside bar here is the next rest. OK, and that's what you're that's what you're particularly looking for. OK, that's that's you know, one of the ways you can actually utilize. Uh, it's one of the ways you can actually utilize it. 
So, you know, for inside bars, you know, what are you looking for and how do you how do you enter them? OK, how do you do that? Well, you know, I kind of alluded to it a little bit earlier is that, you know, a very safe standard entry is that you can you know enter on the break of the uh, of the high and the low of the uh, of the bar. Somewhere between I normally say, you know, kind of one to two pips uh, plus the spread on an intraday basis, depending upon the direction, the time scale and spread. Earlier, I said, you know, you have the decision you have to make is do you, do you trade the break of the inside bar or the break of the mother bar? So in this particular particular case here we can see that you know uh, price has been price has been in an uptrend price pulls back okay hits the 20 period moving average and what does it do it puts in a nice little nice little inside bar so because we can know that you know the, the higher the inside the higher the inside bar is a fair way away from the higher the mother bar well in this particular case you'd be saying well you know what i'll actually i'm going to buy here so you know be like one two pips plus the spread uh, and your stop loss stop loss would go beneath the kind of the low of that candle uh, and then we're looking for you know ideally you know i like to sort of get yourself in a position where you can uh, generate two to one reward to risk okay if you're able to do that effectively two to one reward to risk on an intraday basis that's a, that's a very nice way for you to trade i appreciate some of you might like to trail your stops and actually run those trades longer that's that's a distinct possibility but i think I, i'm a great believer in when it comes to intraday trading on a kind of new trader uh, it's almost like a you want like a little kind of sandbox trade so you you, you know where your entry is you know where your uh, stop loss x is so you may you know where you're getting out if you're wrong uh, and you know where your target is you know if you're going out if you're right and so the, the trade almost becomes a so sandbox trade because you could actually just leave the trade and let it play out okay which for many new intra intra day traders is actually the best thing they can do for them because when you're watching the market okay it's flashing against you you get a you know you get an urge to, to want to interfere in your trade okay you want to see and, and that's what happens you end up snatching at profits okay you end up removing your stop losses all these kind of bad trading habits okay which all come to the fore because things are happening a little bit faster the market's a little bit more dynamic for you so you know kind of as we come towards an end here some points points to note so no trading method is 100 percent accurate okay i've said that all the way there is no perfection in trading okay if anybody tells you there is the talking nonsense okay all right hence why you know it's always important that you use stop losses and risk management okay we haven't sort of touched upon that massively here but you never ever trade without stop loss and in risk management is you only ever risk just a small portion of your account on one trade with inside bars you just you know you need to be aware of false breakouts that uh, that may occur okay and that's why we like to trade them okay either as the uh, end of a at the end of a pullback in a trend or after a very clear after a very clear breakout that tends to help minimize uh, false breakouts okay but you just need to be you just need to actually be uh, you just need to be aware of that you just need to uh, you need to just basically keep that uh, keep that in mind so in conclusion ladies and gentlemen the inside bar is a very simple technical setup and it can be used across all time frames and instruments it can be used for reversals and also for continuations uh, for intraday trading, we like to use them for either, you know, at the end of a pullback in a trend or, or for a true breakout. But as always, just be careful of false breakouts. And that's uh, and that's particularly key. So um, I hope you found that uh, particular useful. I hope you found that particular uh, uh, interesting. Uh, if you wish to uh, um, come and uh, contact us, well, you'll be able to do so. You can see that on the uh, on the uh, on the, the contact details there. You can email us at global at admiralmarkets.com. Uh, you can uh, talk to us. You can watch all of this on youtube.com forward slash admirals global and facebook.com uh, forward admirals global also. So uh, what if you just wear, bear with me at the moment, what we're going to do is I'm just going to switch across to the charts. Let's just see if we can uh, bang this. We've got just a minute or two. OK, just have a look. I appreciate it. I uh, appreciate it's NFP day today. So it's uh, you know, the markets will be a little bit, um, you know, a little bit exciting as it is. OK, in their own way. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is gold 30 minute chart. OK, uh, this is the gold 30 minute chart. So um, uh, here we go. So I'm, I'm just uh, this is just me. I'm just going to draw up a few examples here. OK, um, price has been in a range there. Price moves down. Price puts in a small inside bar there, doesn't it? And you actually think it might actually go up, but it doesn't. What it does is it continues to blow down. And then what we see is this is a very this is a kind of a like a flag pullback, not a particularly pretty one. But then once again, welcome to trading puts in an inside bar there before price falls down again. 
price falls down yesterday, what happens there? It finishes on an inside bar, doesn't it, before price goes particularly um, sideways. Um, this morning, all right, price has, price has broken out of the range, but it falls back and then actually it goes sideways. Okay, remember this was a small sideways range here. Remember this is, we've had the run up to NFP today. So of course the last couple of hours beforehand, those markets can just go a little bit. They can go a little bit dull, can't they? They can go, because every man and his dog, Every man and his dog is uh, here. We go. Every man and his dog is a uh, is doing that. So I appreciate that. That uh, did that maybe not uh, come through here? Let me just clear quickly, clear that and do, go there again. Price moves out. Price puts in an inside bar. This is yesterday gold thirty minutes. Price moves down. No, then price actually forms a kind of a uh, it forms a flag, not a particularly pretty one, but it ends with a kind of inside bar off off uh, one of the moving averages before price collapses. The price collapse ends on an inside bar there doesn't it before it actually basically goes sideways this morning it tried to have a little breakout before it fell down and then price went price has gone sideways here and the reason price gone sideways is because we're running into nfp a case of the few hours beforehand every man and his dog sits you know sits on his hands okay because trying to trade uh, just trade to trade through that is a little bit is a little bit pointless okay it's it's you know it's it's you just uh, you just you know you're asking for trouble um let's whilst we're here i'm not expecting anything because you know we've uh, because uh, you know as i said it's nfp afternoon so um let's have a look at the 15 minute chart how price has responded after the nfp but interesting what we can see is you know prices here we go do, 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 let's bring up this force here price clearly you know blew up i think the nfp numbers were were weren't as good as expected and actually what's happened here price has hit the 200 period moving average and it's put an inside bar there which is also you know you might call that a bit of a doji a little bit of a candle so i'd be watching that okay is is that an opportunity for a reversal that's setting up there okay is that is that what we're going to see i'd be i'd be watching that for the kind of uh, the the rest of the uh, the rest of the afternoon here uh, let's have a look. What's uh, was the five minute chart? Any particular clearer? Probably not because it's um, because it uh, tends not to be. Um, well, you know, uh, that this, that's a story for a different day, okay? But you know, you had the initial uh, NFP breakout. Uh, what do you get there? You're followed by a uh, an inside bar, which then becomes a, a fail to return setting, which we did a piece on. Uh, and if you look at that, we've got quite a few inside bars there. There's quite a few, there's two or three of them. Has a little bit of fake out, tries to push up, and now it's putting in another one as well. So it's, I, I would suggest that that maybe that's kind of a price for the moment is just probably stalling out there a little bit. Okay. So, you know, you'd be, you'd be using that information that, uh, you know, that kind of inside bar is probably giving you just a little bit, uh, just a little bit of the, uh, of the move on that. Um, so I, uh, unfortunately, we're, uh, we're running out of time, ladies and gentlemen, which unfortunately I appreciate is, is very often happens. Okay. I'm just trying to, with uh, with trying to impart um, within trying to impart as much uh, as much information as I possibly can within our forty odd minutes, um, I appreciate sometimes we uh, overrun a, a little bit, but uh, I, I hope that that has uh, given you just a little bit of insight into inside bars and how you can use them, the various ways that you can utilize them on, on an intraday uh, basis. Uh, if you found this information uh, useful, okay, you're watching this later on the uh, YouTube channel, okay, on demand, then please by all means give us a uh, give us a like, give us a thumbs up okay make sure you subscribe to the uh subscribe to the to the channel uh, as always okay I, I wish the very best of success with your uh, with your own trading okay uh, i look forward to uh, speaking to you uh, next week and uh have a have a great weekend trade well everybody thank you